a try. A Sunday morning training session in the heart of country Queensland. Only this one has one very special guest as the stand-in coach. I'm going forward. That's the only way these work. Inside, inside, inside. Oh, I think it's really good for um, sometimes us city slickers. I would be lying to say if I wasn't one to, to come out and see the passion behind rugby here. Because sometimes, especially in professional level, you get caught up with all that. Um, maybe thinking it's too important sometimes when you, you really learn about rugby when you come out to these communities and watch uh, rugby being played here because it's about mateship, it's about um, the values that go with being part of a team sport in this community and that's so important. Michael Checkers tripped north to visit Community Coach of the Year Ted Vincent and his club the Charters Towers Bulls. Uh, the benefits for the community will, will be encouraging for the juniors to know that if they want to aspire they can become a Wallaby because the Wallaby coach has now come to them. There's a lot of kids here who are interested in playing the game and interested in learning. The questions I got in the um, coaching clinic from both the coaches and the players were spot on and, and they like to play the game hard even from a young level and um, most importantly I think the feeling I got from Ted is that they enjoy their rugby as well and that's really important for a junior club. Especially a club that has to do a whole lot of travel. For most of the junior players it's Townsville for most weeks so that's a a 250k, 260k round trip for them, so it, it can take quite a uh, block out of your day. And if you've uh, got several teams involved as a parent, then it's, it's the whole day. So a lot of travel, but they enjoy it. For us to be here and be here regularly, not just be here in a one-off, be here regularly when the teams need us too, when they need support is really, really important. And also when it comes to scouting, with some North Queensland talent already catching the eye. Well, I saw a couple of young fellas playing yesterday um, in the under-17s. It looked pretty handy. They had a young fullback who looked pretty slick uh, on the ball. The um, goal kicking as well looked pretty sharp. And uh, I think um, the the idea that there's the aspiration to be a Wallaby is extremely important for all of these kids, you know. And um, yeah, I. I think from a young age that's what they want to do and we've got to keep that hope alive for them as long as possible and um, I think as long as they're playing rugby they'll be thinking about the possibility of being a Wallaby.